would like to formally uh, introduce and welcome David Price and Mookie Betts. Take it for the team and be next to David. <laughs> this hurts my pride. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jim Hill of Channel 2 and Channel 9. First of all, gentlemen, congratulations and, and welcome. How do both of you feel when you hear the, the stories that the Dodgers are saying and the people are thinking you're the final two pieces that will get them the World Series championship after the frustrations of the last two years? Um, I guess... We can uh, take it as a compliment for sure, um, but, you know, we don't want to add any extra pressure. You know, we're coming here to play the game the same way we always do. Um, I think uh, both inside we're, we're winners. You know, we work hard to, to get to where we are, and uh, we're just going to bring it here. Um, to be able to, uh, to jump onto a team like the Dodgers, you know, a team that has had the amount of success they have had the past couple of years, and to be able to add a player like Mookie Betts, and, um, and then to be able to add myself to that mix as well. That is um, that's something special to be a part of, and, and we're both very excited. Uh, for both of you guys, uh, just kind of any thoughts about moving, you know, switching divisions, switching leagues? Um, <clears throat> I guess it changes more for me than it does for Mookie because now I have to uh, to swing the bat and run the bases. And <laughs> You're two for your last four, though. <laughs> two for my last three. three. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. For me, it, it really takes baseball back to uh, to the high school days and and just being a little kid. You know, I didn't get to swing it in college. Um, being in the American League for my entire career, you know, getting a couple at bats here and there in the inner league, but to uh, to be able to do it every start and and to do all that. And Andrew knows how much I enjoy you know taking BP and just um, just going out there and having fun. And to be able to do that again, I'm I'm very grateful for it. I think the only adjustments would just be kind of seeing new pitchers um, over the time. I hadn't been in the National League, obviously, so um, just seeing seeing different guys uh, at the beginning will be take a little getting used to, and then should be fine. So, guys, um, Julie McCoy's from the Boston Globe. Just kind of you guys had story careers in Boston, and just what do you take from that? And just you know, what do, what's your um, fondest memory of being in Boston? Both of you guys. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of memories in Boston. Um, obviously, I'd say the the most fun is the the World Series. Um, but you know, from the debuts to um, you know just ins and outs of, of every day being around Boston, I have so many memories. And so, um, you know, it's, it was a, that was a great chapter in, in my life for sure. Um, we won a lot of games, and we won um, three AL East division titles, uh, and we were able to. To win a World Series in 2018, and for myself, you know, um, 2018 was very special there at the end, and those are very, very good memories for for myself. And um, Mookie, you never obviously, Dave, you've been traded before, but Mookie, this is your first time being traded. Kind of when you first got the news and everything was going down, how how'd you digest that? How'd you take that? Uh, I mean, you know, it was definitely something new. I had I had been in trade rumors, I think, my first year, and. After that, it kind of went away, and so now it came back. It was, um, you know, definitely something new I had to get used to, and I think once I kind of accepted that it may happen, every, everything was pretty much fine. I mean, I'm essentially going to play the same game and um, just with a different uniform. Hey, guys, Michael Duarte with NBCLA. Uh, what are you each looking forward to about just playing for the Dodgers during the season once you finally get to, you know, run in between these lines and throw on the mound here and be with your teammates in the clubhouse or even just L.A., the city in general? I mean, just being with your teammates, like you said, you know, um, you're with your teammates more than you're with your uh, your family. And to uh, to be around a group of guys like that for that amount of time, you know, it it, it need you need to have that special bond. You know, when you're 
when you're going to be together that much, like you have to, uh, you have to genuinely enjoy one another, you know, enjoy spending time together, just um, at the field, away from the field, just uh, building new relationships. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I mean, those are uh, those relationships are, are translate to in between the lines, and that's when you see a team really become a team, and uh, you know that's how you win World Series.